I looked at J.D. this morning, and he was already talking to a group of people about his big weekend with Artie in Vegas. <laughs> and oh. I said, J.D. I said, dummy up. I, th- I gave him yeah, that advice. Yeah, shut though. up. He's and, spilling his beans. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in there. <laughs> I said, no one knows what you're saying anyway. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> well, mostly he was telling us about, like, Dan the Song Parody Man and stuff. He didn't oh. reveal a lot about himself. I didn't realize his hours here. We got off the He was on the same flight as me yesterday. We got off the plane at, like, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. And uh, I'll see. He goes. I'll see you tomorrow. He's like, Well, yeah, I gotta go. And now he gets here at like eight o'clock on Sunday. <laughs> so he well, eight, tape- eight p.m. Yeah, he's got to go through a lot of TV shows. Right. His job is watching TV. So he has to get here on Sundays. So, you know, a Sunday night. Wow. Is JD a fun guy, Artie, to hang out with? This weekend he was. This weekend he was the focal point of. Uh... <laughs> you know, I told you. Let I me ask you something. Are you? Be honest. Are yeah. you goofing on him in a sense that you were hanging out? Like, you would never normally hang out with J.D. because he's got that nerdy reputation. Well, he's not good with the ladies. I mean, I, I mean you no, don't like hanging around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're never really going to hang out with him. First of all, the kids I grew up with weren't all Fonzie. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, and I mean, I've gotten to know him through the through the show. Honestly, but, it's hanging out, having a beer with J.D. is fun. But I, it wasn't I a goof company. in a sense that you... Well, it started out on the show as like, you know, okay, we're the only two single guys and... You but know, aren't you goofing? He's not the best wingman. <laughs> and, so, and aren't you goofing in a sense because, like, here you are, you know, I don't know what happened, but you were saying you would try and find him a weekend girlfriend. Like, right, we'd already right. have it set up so it, like, looked like the girl was into him. Well, there's a lot of guys. Uh, they look pre-show business. I needed that type of uh, big brother. <laughs> Helping hand. Uncle. I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, I told him, I told him this weekend you're with Uncle Artie the entire time. Is it like getting Pee Wee Herman late or something? Uh, I, I hope it's easier to get Pee Wee Herman. So, did you take, so, so JD, let me uh, hop over to you. Your, your wild weekend with Artie. Are you um, first of all? You're glad you went. Yeah, of course. Okay, great time. And, and you I don't mind if he's goofing on you. And well, I understand that John the Stutterer joined you as well. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, that's a whole other story. I mean, I, 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 I don't think my powers worked as well with him. But I, you see, here's what happened: the whole thing got delayed. Like they, him and my assistant Teddy flew out Thursday, which I was supposed to do. But um, a, a monkey wrench was thrown into that because uh, Rescue Me wrote me into their last episode, which I, which was very, which was fantastic. But I didn't realize that was going to happen. So Wednesday after the show, I worked there till like almost midnight. Thursday after the show, I worked there till midnight. We were up in the Bronx. Why are you allowing that, honestly? Because I want to be. I love the show, and I no, want to be you part love the of show, it. But and... working toward midnight, you have to say, "Look, I can do this." They they have a way of fixing their schedule. I can only stay up till eight. Well, o'clock. that was the only way I couldn't miss this show. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. they were already doing me a huge favor by not letting me miss the I show. See. So. Uh, Thanks for the favor, rescue me. Well, you know, uh, (laughs) the the deal I made them, I said, yeah, you know, let me know. But the the last time I took off, I was able to give Gary at least a week. This time they gave me like two days. I said, that's not, you know. Right, not acceptable. Yeah, so uh, I had to shoot till 11 o'clock in the Bronx. I mean, me, (laughs) I was the last shot of their entire season. So talk about an antsy crew. It was weird. Like, I'm there and they're all, it's like the last day of school for them. And when they yelled a rap, like champagne went off. And of course, I had to stay to have some scotch with the Teamsters. (laughs) So I didn't get home till like one o'clock. So I couldn't leave until Friday. So now by the time I'm at Rescue Me, I'm calling them Teddy's there. I'm so fucking jealous of them. You want to be in Vegas. (laughs) Yeah, right. So, uh... So you didn't fly with J.D. and uh, John the Stutterer? No. Uh, no. Uh, John had, the Stutterer had his own situation. So I have to What do you mean he had his own situation? He, we couldn't get it. He happened so late in the game, we couldn't get him a flight till Saturday. So he had to come Oh, you're kidding. Oh, what a shame. But but he made it in time to have dinner and I'll get to John. There's so many things to to talk about. (laughs) (laughs) Well, J.D., I'm not hearing anything from you. So you went to the. talking. Well, I I just, I want to explain this. So he's already there doing God knows what. And I don't know a lot about that. So you're going to have to go over that. No, they, 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 I, I get on a plane at um, at uh, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock Friday. Okay. We're just about to take off. And the nightmarish thing happens. The, the fucking captain gets... Now, I'm supposed to land 7 p.m. Oh, Friday night in Vegas. I fucking hate these. Vegas you know, time. So I'm ready to roll Friday night, you know? Remember when airlines used to thank you for using their mm. well, service? We, uh, we're about to take off, and the captain goes, listen, I have unfortunate news. Oh, no. There's a huge storm in the Midwest. We can't leave till it blows over here. We have to sit here. We sat there for five hours. Oh, five hours on the plane? 
brain. Yeah. Locked up. So now there's a new rule where they can you can sue them for unlawful imprisonment. So they had to bring up a big stairway to the side of the plane. You could sue them for unlawful imprisonment because they hold you on the plane. Yeah. yeah. That's what. The, that's a <laughs> new law. Uh, so they bring kidnapping. up they bring up a huge stairway to the fucking plane, and one one woman said, "Yeah, I got to get out of here." And uh, she left. We became like a traveling shitty high school party. The, the captain said, we're going to pull over to get more ice and beer. <laughs> so uh, five hours on the fucking tarmac. Oh, then we have to take, because of the storm, a diverted route. Normally, get to Vegas takes about four hours, 40 minutes from here. Oh. It took us six hours because we had to go up to, like, Vancouver and down. I don't know. So oh I, don't get, I don't get to Vegas till after 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh. When you, your show was Saturday. Yes, thank oh. God. So that blows. Do you sleep on the plane? No, I can't sleep You know what? I, th that's all that goes through my mind as you tell me this exhausting schedule because yeah. all I worry about is sleep all the time because <laughs> I get sick when I don't sleep. Right. And so I'm, like, sleep obsessed. <laughs> Just I need six or seven hours. Yeah. And, uh, at least. I, well, uh, I do too, but uh, you know, uh, again, I landed in Vegas at one a.m. and I was so out of it. JD and, and Ted and uh, Jeff Beecher, who runs the show, met me there, and I was like, oh, "Thanks, guys." Some of the Vegas, you get there, all of a sudden, there's something in the air, man. I get in the airport, and I'm like, oh, I don't no. know. I think I can. I think I can roll for a few hours. So, um, <laughs> yeah, but um, he needs sleep everywhere but Vegas. Right. So they all came. Up, <laughs> they all came up to my room to uh, to sort of. Uh, you know, help me check in. They gave me a really nice suite and everything. And I said, they were going to a strip club. So they were going to scores, actually. So I said, guys, just go. I got to try to get at least some fucking sleep. But, and this was good. I, I, ma I, I managed my whore time perfectly. <laughs> I called up this chick who I, the chick who I saw the last weekend I was there. And, um, I said, please, you know, please tell me like you're in Vegas. Cause I really, I like her. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, I mentioned this on stage, too. I was delusional that maybe me and this, this would have been the third time we hooked up. I was like, maybe I, I think this chick has sort of like a, an emotional attraction to me because we talk on the phone. And Now, is this a whore or a... It's a uh, hooker. It's but, a hooker. But, but not, well, she was the first weekend. The second weekend, she didn't charge me. Wow. The Super Bowl weekend. That's that a, was you the know weekend what? she woke you up and, and blew you, right? Yeah, that was that yeah. weekend. That was that's a great uh, weekend. <laughs> that, that's real love. <laughs> if, I mean, if a hooker doesn't well, charge so listen, you... So this was like, I mean, this is... So, so she doesn't charge me the last time. I think, I don't when know, you say she doesn't charge charge you was it a visit to to your room or did you take her to dinner no, full, full visit to the room right but did you take her to dinner first no, no, uh, no. the super bowl weekend there was she just came right to my room after. and she said to you Artie, i'm not charging you uh it wasn't like that blunt but she was like she just came up and she just never you know we rolled around and she just never charged me she wow. just, you know so and she also has a kid it's like a long story but, but you were generous uh, yeah, you know, we, I, we, oh. Uh, we oh, you mean out. you paid her whatever you thought? No, we went and had a nice, you know, uh, dinner and everything like that. I oh, mean, you the did? same thing you do at a regular broad. Okay. Uh, wow, look at you, uh, Casanova. It was a late night thing, but, um, and that was at the Luxor, like one of those huge MGM grams. Can't like believe the whore didn't charge you. So listen to what happens. So I think, you know, again, I don't know, maybe this chick really likes me, which is, uh, I knew a kid who actually did that once. He, he banged a whore so good that she, like, converted. Uh, converted <laughs> to what? A regular to person. A she, she went back to human. Could you, could you marry a whore? Like, could you be in a relationship with a whore? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think I could marry one. You lived with one. What, for, like, a, a week, two oh, weeks. Oh, it was, and now it's two weeks. She needed a place to stay in Like LA. that kid from the Wonder Years, you know, who was in here with uh, Scott Baio, yeah. Jason Hervey, who said he married a porno star. And, you right. know, we, we were looking at some of her... Uh, graphic graphic titles yeah, like hardcore. anal girls or whatever the hell i don't know what what the titles were but one of them involved anal mm. and uh he was wincing the whole time but i'm like you know what dude you him, married well, him. Well, he, he won't call her a whore porn people are very they're, no, like, they're not I know, whores i know he's not calling no, her a whore yeah. but she's a porn queen. but that's a, there's I a not, difference i, I guess not, i would have a trouble right with a porno right here, star right because right okay. i'd be embarrassed I, I don't think I could ever marry okay a, go ahead so is she good looking i bet you this whore is good oh she's very very hot I what does she cost if she charges? She's the you? one I told you looks like a she looks like a mini little uh, Jenny McCarthy. Wow. Uh, no, no, Nicole Eggert. She looks like. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Jenny and Nicole. I say I say more like Nicole Eggert. She looks like. What does she charge when she does when she's in full charge mode? Or uh, could she get a couple of grand? The first time, yeah. The first time I uh, I saw her, I gave her three grand for the weekend. Right. Oh wow. So, uh, uh, so nice. anyway, Man. so I'm thinking she's got like some sort of emotional attachment to me, right? And like, ah, you know, I was like, ah, you can't make it. Has has your kid, everything like that. She goes, uh, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, I can't get in there. And then she goes, but I have a friend who will fuck you. <laughs> oh, she, so she, she doesn't said, care about you. <laughs> she goes, I have a friend who will fuck you. And I'm like, I'm like, oh god, I thought we had something. I guess not. 
No referral service? Uh, she said, she, I said, really? She goes, yeah, I told my friend about you. She's there waiting for you. <laughs> and I said, yeah. I go, she's a friend. Good. I go, yeah, she's very good looking. Uh, you like her. She's a lot of fun. And she gave me her name. I'm not going to say the name she went by because Who it knows? becomes a little uh, significant later on. <laughs> My <laughs> legs aren't open right now, but the whore down the block is. So I said, when can she be here? Like, uh, and she said, well, t when do you want her there? And I said, well, I got to sleep. Can she get here tomorrow at like, noon? And she's like, yeah. So... There's I, a uh, close sign on my pussy, but my friend is open. Right. Yeah. So I go to sleep, <laughs> and the next day uh, I wake up with a call from Miss Broad, and uh, she came over to my room. Now, she she was brunette. She had, uh, like, those Bo Derek-type um, braids. braids. Yeah, which I thought was kind of hot and, you know, big fake tits. Really? And, uh, Bo blonde? Derek? Bo Derek? No, That's brunette. A, Bo um, Derek braids? Like, you know, in 10... But that's it's, so retro. Yeah, I mean that's real old school. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get into the you know fashion. Of her. <laughs> I, I mean, start, the head. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't get like uh, with that dude who just starts wrecking people's <laughs> wardrobes. Oh, you're awful! What are you doing? Wait a second, the whole head was braided. <laughs> uh, you know, like or just a few little braids. No, like around, almost like the Cleopatra With beads thing. In it and all yeah, that shit? yeah. <laughs> and did she have the fake contact lenses changing her eye color? What What were you doing? I know, I don't know. I couldn't tell you the color of her eyes. Black right? chicks do the braid thing. I'm surprised uh, it's a. Is this a white chick? Yeah, hmm. yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. She could have had some non whiteness in her. Right. <laughs> she had a little tampon. I don't know. I thought she was good looking, and um, she had you know a nice ass and the big tits and everything. You know, it's awful funny to me. So. You know this one girl, and you want to call her. She's not available. You're okay just, you know. Of course. Well, I don't want to go look. Who cares? I don't want to go ask, and then I have to ask people. You know what I mean? Then, or just take my chances of trying to. I was in Vegas. I wanted to fucking get laid. Okay. Was, All right. Uh, so, because, uh, again, I don't know. I was, like, extra horny and stuff. And um, so she was like, you know, yeah, you know, uh, th this girl will come by. So I was like, fuck it. I take a referral. This is what happened. <laughs> there was nothing sad in this for you? I mean, I don't mean to get all homo on you. It but was all happiness, man. Really? Like, yeah. you don't like, uh, oh, wow, I'm fucking some chick for money and stuff, and I could do better I mean, than I've this. done it before. We've had How this discussion. I know. I'm just thinking maybe cost? it changed you. Huh? How much does this one cost? She, she wanted a grand. But I was all right. Do you think I, she gives whore, that first whore a commission? Like, does she like go, uh, hey? Yeah, you get ten percent for saying. referrals. That guy was a referral. It's not my, uh, not my. You don't business. know a thousand bucks. It's huh? none of my business. But she's super hot, like a real hot. Chick. Well, I, see, she's like a, yeah, at least an eight and a half. Oh, I'd wow. say like a body, like a real. You know what she had? I guess she had the fake tits, which were nice, and she had a really, really flat tan belly. You know what I mean? Like really, you know. So um, she That's gets hot. there, and I don't know, like, I fixed her a drink. I had a full bar, and uh, she had some vodka. And uh, They gave me this little thing of absolute vodka, which was very nice, you know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so we sort of start going at it. I, she, wanted the, she wanted the money first, and I gave her the money. And, uh, you know, we started going at it, and I, you know, I She wanted the money her. up front. Yeah, well, they do that a they, lot. They do? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, then she's really pleasing you, right? Uh, really well, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second. I got, I got to back up here. <laughs> so you give her the money up front, right? Give her a thousand bucks cash, yeah. And then she, like, does she? She goes, okay, time for business. And then you start drinking. No, she doesn't. She doesn't go time for business. No, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you, you start drinking, and then like, yeah. she, does she do like a little strip tease or? Yeah, she starts giving me a lap dance. That's a good way to start, you yeah. know, because you call it a lap dance. Right. And there's something to actually physically do, and then she gets, you know, she takes her top off, and you know, it's, it, it doesn't take long from there. I mean, because it's like a lap dance where you can do whatever you want. Do you, you know? ever get like self-deprecating? You go, oh, do you think I'm gross, or do you like? Do you I don't ever say it? the word gross. Yeah. Do you tell them to say <laughs> certain things to you? Do you want a certain scenario? No, I think that's so creepy. <laughs> right. You know, uh, <laughs> you just want to get laid. I know some comics who go to whores a lot. Actually, quite a few comedians do. <laughs> and uh, they do. They have a whole, like, script. <laughs> they have their hooker script. <laughs> like, you know, I want you to be my third grade teacher, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> and, you know, I am, I just got in trouble for throwing a spitball. Uh, and you're going to, you know. That's weird. And they that's just crazy. Uh, she had a very hookery name, too. Uh, like Firestorm or you know, and a hookery name. Right. So uh I you know, we we have, you know, sex and uh she I, blow you first? No. And and I don't know. It, like I it, she was hot and everything, but there was something I don't know. I just wasn't as, I just wasn't as into this chick as I have been. Well that's what I was wondering. I mean, could you really yeah. have the same good time that it was you a were little, thinking of having? It was a little weird. I don't yeah. know. It was I don't I know, know what you it, mean. Like, I, I words, think I had a, I had to sleep till seven PM is what I should have done. But. In other words, you wouldn't call her again. Yeah. Now meanwhile no. Now meanwhile, 
you know, I arranged. I had friends coming in from Jersey. <laughs> Everybody was down at the pool while all this was going on. They had a big cabana. You know, that Hard Rock pool is the most insane scene ever. And uh, they're all down there having a good time. Teddy, Teddy thought I was dead. Oh, <laughs> he kept calling the room. You he, know. Even, he even went up to the room and knocked on the Why door. Why is he calling the room? You, you fucking haven't slept in two days. Tell well, Teddy to calm the fuck down. I, I know. The, the, the knocking at the door was really annoying. But no. it was a big enough suite to where I was in the other room. And then finally, um, like after we banged once, I just sort of like, we just sort of lay there. And I just went to sleep. And it did she weird. leave? Uh, no, she sleeps no, she there. rolled him. So, uh, at 7 o'clock... She fell asleep, too. Yeah, we both sleeping in the bed. Which was all right. You know, creepy. I sort of miss having a chick to sleep. It's nice having a nice, soft woman to, like, lay there with. I and fell you asleep. don't mind? It's a total stranger. I don't know. Mm, nah. I mean, it's a little like... <laughs> to rub a hole. Like, it's a little like falling asleep, oh. with, falling asleep with Beetlejuice in the room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if Beetlejuice had really nice fake tits. Right. So, finally, the phone keeps ringing at 7 o'clock. Uh, or a little before seven, I answer and it's Teddy and he's like right outside my door and Teddy's like, he goes, oh, I thought this was the trip. Thank God you're up. I'm like, what do you mean I thought this was the trip? He goes, I thought this was the trip where, uh, you know, you were going to be dead. I'm like, you know, what are you preparing your CNN speech? You know, you little jerk off. He wants to be the one who finds you. Yeah, he's yeah. not letting you sleep. I can see him like, I tried everything with that man. I use CPR. I tried to get him into counseling. <laughs> So um, he's waking up every minute, right? Well, I mean, look, I had I told him it's, uh, if I wasn't by the pool at seven o'clock, I had Nobu reservations. Now I have to host like eight fucking people because then John the Stutter is coming in. So anyway, so I, I get up and I finally have to start getting motivated, and I try to give the old heave ho to uh, El Horo, <laughs> yeah, Bo Derek, and, um, <laughs> and, uh, now, and Bo now, Derek seems to be in entrenched. Huh? Well, she gets him on the cell phone. And now she starts making all these crazy mystery hooker calls. I call them. She's talking to this guy, talking to some other guy. Is uh, you know, she kept out. saying the same name, a guy's name. So uh, Ho Derek is uh, Ho Derek, <laughs> whatever. So uh, He's hanging out. And then she she had uh, she had coke. They all have coke. Oh. And. Um, you know, and I, I keep saying, I said, listen, I can't do any cocaine. She's like, come on, come on, come on. She started getting really annoying. She woke up. The second she woke up, she fixed a drink. And I'm like, you know what? You really, I think you have more problems what? than I do. Why do you think she <laughs> wants you to do coke with her? Does she want to roll you for more money? Or I don't what? know. Well, that that would mean we'd go probably the whole weekend. Right. right. She'd get um, 1000 again. So uh, so she goes and she, she she goes in the other bathroom. There's another bathroom in the other side of the suite. And she keeps doing coke. I'm oh, like, you don't, have to, you don't have to excuse yourself in the bathroom. I'm like, I'm the only one here. Yeah. I don't, you know. A club. I'm clearly fine with it. It's Artie's room. So uh, the entire thousand she made off, he probably goes right up her nose anyway. Uh, well, that's uh, that's probably the sad truth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's how they keep <laughs> in the business. So uh, <laughs> she. Uh, <laughs> So she's being really annoying. She's like, no, I want to I want to come. Let's say, where are you having dinner? I'm like, I don't know. I got to have dinner with friends. And I got She's like, well, are you having dinner in the hotel? I'm like, no, I'm not. She goes, yes, you are. I'm like, no, I'm not. What do you give a shit? You know, so, You're now, a whore. And so now I'm sort of like, you know, that thing I'm paying that you pay them to leave. Right. I'm like, I pay. I paid you. Leave. All right. <laughs> Did you just say that? There was too much time in between uh, the money transaction. No, we start getting into a crazy, stupid, retarded argument. Oh, you're it, arguing with a hooker? Yeah, oh, now I'm arguing with her. You, you, you As if we're dating. This and isn't so, a pretty woman. But this is what she says. She goes, she goes, my friend, she shouldn't even know why. She goes, my friend told me you were famous. I'm going to call the National Enquirer. <laughs> oh, stop it, Artie. And I go, I go, honey, I go, let me tell you something, first of all. But then she got a good one on me. I go, uh, you're not sleeping with George Clooney. She goes, I know. And she rolled her eyes. <laughs> Oh. And, uh, this is a whore from hell. Oh. And I went, what, Artie, was oh. she kidding around when she said she's calling the National Enquirer? No, she was absolutely serious. Like, coked out crazy hooker you theory. You mean she was saying, if you don't take me to dinner, she I'm going to She was doing hooker logic. She wanted to hang. I guess she, you know. You know, probably the the girlfriend you had called told her he likes to hang out. He'll keep you for the weekend. Right. Well, yeah. She was you blackmailing you. Well, listen, so she says to me. Uh, what a cunt. She says to me. Um. <laughs> Uh, you know, I want to hang out with you, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, when she said the National Enquirer thing, I mean, it was almost funny. And I said, uh, I said, look, here, I'll if, give you the number. You if you call. called up <laughs> the yeah, National Enquirer, yeah, I'd like to see you get me in there. If you called up the National Enquirer and say I just fucked Artie Lang, they're gonna go. First of all, unless you said Jessica Lang, we're hanging up. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, they're not looking for you. <laughs> so I make that like joke that I thought was kind of funny, and then she went, "Who's Jessica Lang?" And I'm like, I don't want to explain the joke to you. Uh, and uh, wow, I can't believe like she said to you. 
hey, I want to hang with you, and if you don't hang with me, I'm calling the National Enquirer? <laughs> yeah. So now I, I said, What the fuck? So I said, listen, just, you, know, you just have to get out of I have to go work. I have to do shit. So she's like, what do you do? <laughs> I'm uh, not even telling her so I'm insulting. doing a show in the fucking room. I'm not telling her I'm doing yeah. a show, you know? But first of all, she was so blind. My picture was up every two feet. You know, if she just had any common sense, she could see I was working there. But that was your skinny picture. So finally, I said, listen, uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> maybe she didn't recognize yeah, maybe you. Maybe she didn't recognize you. She's not, you know, she's not a whore. She's a detective. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. Uh, the horror detective. I don't know if the other one might have told her my full name, but anyway, um, I said, said, I said Look, just take another couple hundred dollars and get the fuck out of here. Go play. I said, What do you like to play? She goes, I play craps. Like you know, I said, Go play craps. So you take and just get the fuck out of here. So we're yelling. You said, Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you. yelling. I'm yelling at her. So she takes it and she she she, she takes the money. She took I took everyone like three hundred bucks. And she oh. goes out the door, just slams the door. So now, oh. I, now I I run over to I call Teddy, who's down in Nobu with him, with JD, and seven other people. I still got a shower. I go, listen, I'm running late. I said, you got to help me. I said, this fucking hooker. I don't know where the fuck she's gonna go. I explained what she looks like, and Teddy's like, all right, what do I do? I go, just don't let her into Nobu. I told her she had the braids and everything. I'm like, yeah. she's running around crazy, like crazy hooker. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Teddy enlisted. What did he say? He enlisted you to help because when I I, I I shower, I run down and then I see Teddy and JD outside. Like you know? he just told me the story and we just had to keep a lookout for him. <laughs> oh, so you know what? They're looking for Artie's girl. That's good because I had a feeling like JD so out of it in Vegas and not you know feeling like an outcast. It gave him something to do. Well, he was on a mission. He was on a secret spy mission. He was on a mission. I'm on a secret spy mission. So important. I finally I feel, I, I feel like I got something. To do. I'm gonna look out for Artie's whore. So I'm here's where help out my friend Artie. Here's where the weekend, and what would JD here's say? Here's where the weekend gets great. But wait, 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 what what would JD say to the whore? I don't if know. Uh, he did encounter her. Well, he was just, you, you can't kind of know, bro. <laughs> well, he was Teddy's uh, uh, right hand man, you know. Oh, okay. So what I get mean? down there, and, yeah. and Teddy's doing his job. He's guarding Nobu, you know. <laughs> I get there, and all my other guests are sort of there. I had neighbors coming, and uh, so uh, John the Stutter was a, was landing, and on his way, we heard. And, uh, he, of course, had no problem with his flight. Well, yeah, he was fine. He got right in. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so we go to Nobu. Now we're in Nobu. You know, the beautiful big table they got us. Richie sent over uh, beautiful uh, desserts at the end, some free booze, and we all order food. Now, we're, like, the merriment starts. I shower, and I'm starting. I'm like, oh, everything's all right. I have, a, I have a drink. <laughs> so now I know that my guy had hooked JD up. <laughs> But I didn't know, you know, hookers have their own schedule. You don't know when they're going to show up. Right. So we're all, <laughs> my guy said, like, you know, she told him, he just pointed JD out. She knows what he looks like. You know, at some point, she'll just come up to JD. So we're all ordering. And, uh, you so know. You haven't, so in other words, not till Artie gets there is there action, right? Uh, no, I had yeah. action before. Oh, yeah, well, I see. This is the part I don't know. Wait, because I want to hear this. Right. Well, I don't I know can't really talk about it a lot. But all right, yeah, well, whatever. I just yeah. want to know what happened. So. I'll just tell you what I know, because right. I got there late. So we're all sitting around, and this is even blindsiding to me. I'm having a drink, and this fucking really hot blonde with big tits and like a sundress walks up to the table. She walks, you know, uh, I'm like, hey, how you doing? And, and again, there's people there. There's like a, a couple that I sort of know from my building. Oh, God, help me. What <laughs> Who are like, you know, on? they're civilians, you know. <laughs> and then there's, uh, you know, uh, the yeah. Teddy. There's the three others, Pete Dominic, Joey Matarese, the other two comedians who I'm working with. Stanhope, uh, Stanhope came too, which is another story. Stanhope's the best. He couldn't make it down there, though. Stanhope came with a bald girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I, that's a whole other fucking story. What's her name? Again? Squeaky. Uh, bingo. bingo, not Squeaky. Bingo, bingo. bingo. She, Bingo's a sweetheart. I got yeah. to love Bingo. I like weekend. Bingo. So, um, so it's a table at Nobu, and everybody's sort of—they're all going to the show later, so they're all looking at our table and everything. This blonde walks right by everybody, goes right up to JD as he's ordering something. And, and how just, did you make that happen? In other words, they uh, gave her a picture. All of I JD? did was a friend of mine who set this up listens to the show. And uh, he heard about this, and he set this up without any of my knowledge. Okay, go ahead. And he just told me everything's fine with JD. Okay. And of. you're talking about a knockout. So, well, like I said, a Vegas A to Cincinnati 11. All right. I'll get JD's opinion because I think he knows her a little better than I do. <laughs> but she, uh, so she walked over and like really nice breasts, tan, blonde, uh, a <laughs> little bit older, but not much older. Maybe in the mid 30s range. Okay. I don't know. But really like hot body, nice legs. What she look like? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say she looked a little, you know, she reminded me a little bit of, uh, uh, Nicole Brown Simpson, like oh, the, the, the oh, blonde, that OJ, in that vein, you all know, right. 
uh, the blonde that OJ beheaded. <laughs> so um, Except this one had a head. Yeah, right? this one had a head now. Yeah, too bad. So uh, she walks over and is just like, she was good, man. Just focused on JD with laser beams. Oh. And so and so my buddy's like kicking me going, what are you doing? Just tell her to walk away. They're having a conversation. Just, what is he, a homo? Oh my God. Like, but it's exciting for him like, to actually talk to a human being. I'm like, no. So JD's sort of like, uh, he goes, well, I'm at Artie's dinner here in Nobu. I don't want to be disrespectful. Now he's taking her phone over. I see JD getting her number. <laughs> and I'm like, you're not being disrespectful of me. What do I got? I didn't come here to have leave. sushi with you. I don't give a oh. shit. So, uh, so after all that, the chick wouldn't Fag. stop. The chick wouldn't stop. So she just, it's so, it's so like, Everybody's just looking at it. I know. Everybody in the everybody in the restaurant were in the corner. Oh my god! And then you know they probably heard the show. What I'm trying to do. This chick just gets up. Her and JD just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> they were gone. I would have be kind. Does they were gone JD, for about 18 minutes. <laughs> does JD realize? <laughs> 18 minutes. Does JD realize at this point that that's this is his? Whole oh, I, I yeah. yeah 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 absolutely. No. I mean everybody did. Right. Everybody did. Where, so what Nobody happened? Where'd you go? Uh, so then uh, we became uh, so immature after they leave. Like me and my friends were high. Five. We were like we were twelfth grade idiots, <laughs> and uh, you know we were just laughing. It was way funny. to pick up a girl, JD. So uh, <laughs> I, she took me out. She, she didn't say she didn't say a word to anyone else in the room. She went right to him and was I talking that, to him, wow. and she did her job. Yeah. And then they left, so they leave, and then okay, so I don't know what happened. Eighteen minutes, and you're back at the table because I wouldn't even let Why don't him. Why you make a man? You have some fun with him. What happened? It was know, probably I, a half an hour. He I, claims it was a half an hour. I, don't, I just didn't know. It was so weird. Like I didn't want to interrupt. The dinner, uh, and I don't want to like be like. Dinner. I don't want to be like like the douche that left the dinner. To I don't know. It was you are weird. a douche, but that's oh, not the reason. Thanks. No, no, you're not the douche that left just, the dinner. You was... didn't want to be the douche who left the dinner. The chick was there. For, who cares about no, dinner? Dinner, know, didn't, was... dinner didn't even come yet. We just had drinks. We were ordering. Yeah, JD's like, oh great, I'm here a whole time. I, I finally get dinner, and then my hooker shows yeah, up. And I don't know how to you order. Eat, oh, you like, I didn't take you there to buy your no No, I, I just <laughs> I can do that here. You want the dinner, I guess. I, I'm just trying to be nah, he was trying to be. He was trying to be uh, other people. I need to eat some So go ahead. <laughs> so I, don't, I, I didn't even let him give me the full details because I want to know now. I don't, what happened? Give I us just, your wild time. What happened? <laughs> well, what, it was it was short. I'm not Were you way attracted to this chick? Oh, so hot. <laughs> <laughs> she was hot, right? She was hot. It was, it was, <laughs> The one thing I did notice, like, in between, she was hotter than the chick I banged. In, in her cleavage, she had, she had a tattoo of a dollar sign, like right in between her boobs. Oh, sure love. In case you forget, in case you forget exactly. for a second that she's a whore. <laughs> was her ass just like a credit card machine? <laughs> you slide it, the card. It had a slot. <laughs> But so we left the restaurant and we're walking through and we get on the elevator and I just feel like I was like I I, I can't I don't know what the hell's going on and these other guys getting on the elevator I know they know that I'm with the hooker or whatever I just got that vibe like, <laughs> you know why they know because they're gonna be with a hooker later right. but, no, you know, it, it it's hard so, to believe that you would be with a hooker <laughs> you know, <laughs> know it's it hard to believe I would be with this hot chick so. I know that route she was I mean it did look like I mean you know JD's you know a nerdy guy she was like I mean she's like a hot blonde you know? yeah, I mean, it was just like a total like a beam of guy walking with a whore. So <laughs> every security guy looks at you. Yeah, like it could have been your sister. People don't know. Right. So who was the? These guys were just people uh, who were staying yeah, at the I hotel. Were, yeah, we were, were just getting. Out, we were just on the elevator and it stopped. And you go up to your luxurious uh, hard rock uh, suite wow. paid for. Yes, yes, we go in and uh, she started taking her clothes off. And <laughs> did she say anything did to you? you? Oh yeah, she, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what'd you talk about in the elevator? Did she stuff? say anything to you? Like, God, do I love crystal meth so much? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Actually, I was trying to get her to like, just you know, just come out with, you know, the real deal. Like, I knew she wasn't, like, that big of a fan or anything. <laughs> fan? Uh, you didn't even know. She, you you found out who me and you were. I know. Minutes. I know. What exactly. So, what, do you, what, do you, what, what is he talking about? What do you about? mean you're trying to find out what the real deal no, is? No, I just don't like, like, fake situations. Or whatever. Sugar, it's I know. based on that. Let the kid talk. I know, but that's just. Now he's annoying me. I didn't know about this. But no, it wasn't. I mean, it was fine. I just, I, I kept up with. What it. did you want her to say? Yeah, what right. did you talk to her about? <laughs> like, what did you say to her to get? I, to know, the... I just, I, like, I, I found out where she was from and stuff, and uh, and whatever. I've had those conversations. What you wanted, like, like you wanted to have some, like a like, real conversation, nothing like based in, you know. Fake bullshit, but right? Whatever. So what happened? So what was the conversation? <laughs> she wasn't Let me into hear. Con I, I, conversing I, with you. I, 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 was I she like, oh, I know you must. Be, she, I'm not sure. Are you in that movie Napoleon Dynamite? Or? Yeah. <laughs> this whole thing go, it went so fast. I don't. So what minute of the 18 minutes are we into? Nine minutes so far, or is it two minutes? I'm busting his balls. Some people claimed it was 14, 15 minutes. I, 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 it might have been a half an hour. So you don't like fake bullshit. 
In other words, you wanted to get some reality out. So you said, where are you from? Yeah, what, whatever. What's Just your real anything. name? Whatever. No, I, I didn't get that far. I didn't get that, that Tell me what you asked far. her. I'm curious. I, I just like where she was from and, and like, you, you know, didn't if, ask if she lived name. here and whatnot. No. If what? If, if, like, if she lived in the area and stuff. and You live around here? <laughs> yeah, and what did she say? Did, did she you have an iPhone? I, yeah, yeah. She said she, she works around the strip. <laughs> well, she's funny. <laughs> so, but you didn't say, hey, my name is JD. What's your name? Nothing no, like- she knew who I was when she walked. Well, she quote unquote knew who, she was, who I was. She, she had did, your did, dossier did, from Did her. you tell her how good you are with the TiVo? Did you brag a little <laughs> no, to no, let her know? No, I didn't get into all that. All right. Did you mention the show? Yeah, I know. She knew about it. Right. So. So we just we we went up to the room and I mean she she as soon as we got up to the room like she started taking her clothes off and just like talking. And you dirty. came when she took her clothes off. <laughs> now, what did her body <laughs> look like? Yeah, it it look, was, it was she good. was because she was in a sundress with the yeah she was, was hot. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah she was that, hot. Yeah it was perfect. But she was talking yes. dirty. Perfect maybe? enough. Yeah. yeah. She was talking dirty. Yeah. Yes. What'd, What'd she, she say? say? Just like you know like she would you know just talk dirty like you know I'll take your. My tits and rubbing on your cock. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Boy, you didn't get that, Artie. Well, I mean, I sort of did, but the chick, I, the chick I was with was good looking. But I, I'm, I was this chick was way hotter than my bro. <laughs> so did she rub her tits on your dick? Yeah, she did. As a so what, do you take your own clothes off, or did she undress you? Uh, I think I took mine off. Right. And um, and, and she said, uh, she goes, uh, yeah, you know, you know, you have a really nice dick, and I, I didn't have to say that. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, I'm on the clock. Uh, no, she did. It was yeah. an extra six hundred. I was like, geez, thanks. So she That's found something pretty. nice that she liked, your dick. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she... So it's not my dick. Did you even bring rubbers? Did you have rubbers? She, she had. She, she All right. took one right out. Oh, okay, good. Well, yeah. She blew me with the condom on. How does that feel? <laughs> Felt good enough. Right. I've had that. It's all right. I mean, if the chick's hot enough like yeah. that. Like that chick, and you saw her tits while she was blowing. You're like, uh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> like had you down. beaten off a whole bunch of times before she showed up? No, 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 no. I was hey, I was actually at the pool cabana all freaking day. No, but like I mean, drinking. you probably beat off the night before, before Artie showed up. Uh, <laughs> no, because that was when at the scores and I ended up passing out. So. Yeah, I, saw oh, I saw pictures of you at scores, like drunk and in a corner. Yeah. See, I, yeah. I heard that. That was the first. So, but this chick, so the chick blew you. She gave you a nice blow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did and you come from that or did no, you No, 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 no. I, I said, I, I really want to fuck you. And, and, uh, so, uh, nice. you know, I'm laying there and she gets on top and she <laughs> nice. starts going at it and. I, I, I had to stop her for a second because I was about to come, but and then I was just. Why like, stop? Her? That's why the rubber's on. Well, I well I know, I know, but I did. I wanted it to last he longer. Wanted to uh, I, I, I want to take my rubber off. I want to give you a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so she blew you a little bit, and then she got out. She rode you. Yeah, yeah. Then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. She was <laughs> worth it. <laughs> and I was just like I I I I had to go, so I just fucking went went for it and came and went for that it. Was, and that was that. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Did you, for it. Did you apologize <laughs> afterwards and say to her, "I'm sorry, I didn't make you come"? No. <laughs> no, you didn't care. No. Did she go? Hey, quick straw. What's what's the deal here? <laughs> I'm no. sorry. Your life is in shambles, ma'am. So what happened? Did she just throw her clothes on and leave? No, no. She actually went to the bathroom. She she like did the, the whole like washcloth and wiped me off a little bit. Oh, she cleaned you yeah, up. Yeah, and, uh, wow. nice trick. And she cleaned herself off. And, and then she left. We both got dressed and went back. Down See, now I am. Did you jealous. take her? Did you take her down to Nobu? No, 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 no. She left. No, she. Boy, you couldn't get rid of yours. She, I know, she, dude. That's what I was worried you about. Better whore like, etiquette. I know, but this chick was this chick was a pro. He got a pro, man, because uh, she just you know did her deal. And now I'm jealous that she rode you because I'd love to see that body. She had such a nice body with. Uh, did, yes, did, yes. Is there any shot that she, she would have stayed and done you again, or uh, I, I don't know. I was you didn't just want to like, be. I, I just was confused about the whole situation. It so sounded like that's what she had. Uh, was contracted for, and JD didn't know how to extend the contract. Yeah, I, I you're just... like a nerdy Charlie Sheen. <laughs> well, we could have. I mean, I don't. I mean, the problem was, see, I didn't get there on time. Uh, we had the then it became real hectic. Yeah. Now we're on the time constraint. So he came back, and it was so funny when he came back. Everybody was laughing. Uh, he had to he had to walk uh, back to the table. Uh, yeah, Come stain look, on his pants. What kind of look did he have on his face? Uh, I'm still coming a little bit. <laughs> no, but dude, that, that's even better than I thought it would have been. That's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, right? I got to dive myself down. I still have a dri- drippage. <laughs> Good for I'm you. Waking. Thank you. You got a, blow, a little bit of a blowy and, yeah. uh, and a, the, nice, very nice. That was it? That was your whole interaction with women for the whole weekend? Uh, no, I, I saw someone that, that I had talked to previously. Who is this? Just a girl that emailed me and... Well, what are you talking about? Where Coast? did you see a girl? Oh. You had a girl talking to you? What was on a horse? No, he said he had yeah. something set up. No, just like with someone that lives out in the West Coast, but... 
Is she a whore? Mm. <laughs> no, or a but, porno star? Uh, uh, no. No. What does she do? Strip? Uh, no, she. I honestly, I don't even know what she does. But she just way to go. You know that conversation. Other, she has other me. people involved with her life. I can't really talk about it all that. Her much. parole officer. <laughs> oh, she's a married woman. Not, not married. She's she got a boyfriend. A boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she yeah, met yeah. some. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you, so you have a complicated situation. Going. Yeah, yeah. You're in love with but, a married woman. No, 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 no. This was just like this was just like a one-time thing, and it was. Fine. And whoa, if whoa, I'm whoa, ever whoa. out there again, what? what do you mean? You called her up? It was this before Artie got there? Uh, no, yeah, this is before yeah. Artie so got what there. happened? You were there Thursday night and basically all, almost all of Friday night yeah, without yeah. me. It's half for like Friday. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> she couldn't help herself. She needed to bang you, even though she has a boyfriend. Uh, yeah. You're her go-to stud. <laughs> so wait yeah. a second. Where'd you meet this chick? Uh, she actually emailed me because like my emails on the website, and she got because shared I was coming out to Vegas or whatever. <laughs> and she emailed you and said, hey, if you want to hook up? Uh, yeah, I mean, she emailed me pictures and you stuff. You had never and... had converse or uh, contact with her before, and she heard you were going to Vegas, and she emailed you? Uh, yeah, and then we and she had a MySpace, and I saw MySpace. her. everybody. <laughs> so. And she, and she, uh, and you liked the way she looked? Yes. <laughs> you got photos? I want to see the pictures. Uh, I'll, I'll show you later. You All don't right. have a picture of the hooker, do you? No. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't allow she that. She takes some pictures. She probably yeah, wouldn't get your phone that. out. I guess she wouldn't allow away. that. But anyway, so then the weekend just got It'd fantastic. It'd be funny if you go to JD's house and like he, he has his arm around some chick. Who's that? Oh, that's my hooker from Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Like, yeah. you know, you have picked, like a family photo album. I have pictures of a couple of whores I've been with. Since you've been home, have you beaten off to the hooker like in your head? Are you, is no, she in your I, head? I was home for like a couple hours yesterday. And <laughs> you <have> time to- <laughs> Do you think about her a lot, though? No, not really. Like, if I'm out in Vegas, I I wouldn't mind seeing her again. But what do you nah, think she cost? I wonder what the deal was. I don't know. I don't even want. Don't her. Guy never told me. Her. Guy never told. I don't know. He, he the guy wouldn't accept anything from me. So I don't know what anything was. But uh, so you got you got laid before this chick showed up. Yes. So when was that? Thursday night or Friday? Friday. Friday. Nice. Mm. So she shows up, and what happens? Uh, we just, you know, hung out for... Uh, where did you see her? Where, where did she come by the pool? She No, 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 no. She came by the hotel. Yeah. And uh, Came right uh, up to your room? No, no. We hung out downstairs for a little bit. Where? Did you take and, her and get something uh, to where, eat at, a, at the bar. At the bar. You, you hung out at the bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, that was the first time you talked to her, or you talked to her on the phone before that? Uh, we had talked on the phone. Love it. Charmed what are her. you wearing? What do you wear when you show that. up to these? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you in the same clothes? My, 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 no, my no, morning shorts. Not from yesterday. I only... I might have been wearing shorts. I was probably wearing shorts. Shorts? It's like a t-shirt. I mean, it looks well, a, lot, a lot like that. So, like, she shows up and she's like, hey, I like the way you look, J.D. And, and we were talking and we headed up and... You said, hey, let's go up to my room? Uh, or she yeah. said it? Well, we, it was more of like a mutual, like, thing or whatever. We're just so like, this was like, oh, you knew this was a sure thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice. She flew to Vegas nice or she trip. lives in Vegas? Uh, she sort of drive. Mm. She drove. She drove. Yes. From where? L.A.? Uh, somewhere on the West Coast. Okay. You had a two-girl Vegas weekend. Wow. Yes. Sweet. So, so she drove all the way so she could bang you. Uh, it, yeah. And uh, and so after how many drinks did you, did you go up to the room? Uh, just a couple. It wasn't it wasn't long. And then she she said, "Hey, I want to go up to the room. Let's yeah, hang out upstairs." Yeah. yeah. This is Thursday night. Wow. No, Friday, Friday. Friday. And you go upstairs. Is yes. she a, how, what, what number is she? An eight, a seven? What is she? I, eight, at least. Really? Is she least. hotter than the one from Nobu? <sighs> um, I she's natural, so I I would say so no. yes. <laughs> no, I would say she's yes. that hot. I I, I mean I just uh, I like uh, the way uh, she uh, looks. Uh, so okay. you know. So anyway, you go up to the room. What yes. happens there? And we just you know we we started making out and. One thing, I don't know. You brushed your teeth or you, you forgot again? <laughs> yes, I brushed my teeth, Howard. You All look right. very clean, very <laughs> George <laughs> Hamilton. Get that film off those teeth. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody driving somewhere to, to bang JD? JD? It was like was salmon going upstream. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Thank you. That was was. Is she like a huge super fan? Did you have to talk about the show? She she is a super fan. <laughs> no, no, no. She's got to call in. <laughs> oh, my I, I goodness. Did well, you disguise use a, her voice. Did you use a rubber on this chick? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. You brought it or she had it? I had one. I was right. going to say, I should have told you. I hope you would have known that to sort of rub her up for the... <laughs> no, I... Boy, you got laid more times this weekend than you have your entire life, almost. <laughs> hardy, hardy, hardy. Mm. Is she in a porn website? Is she... Does she no, want... no, 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 no. Does she want to be on the show? Is that what's going on? No, no. 
No. She doesn't even want me talking about it. So she starts to take her clothes off in the room? Uh, we, 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 I mean, we were making out, and we were taking each other's clothes off. Are you off part of some sort of crazy scavenger hunt she's involved in? <laughs> What's she wearing, like little panties and stuff? Uh, she was just wearing, like, jeans and, like, uh, sort of like a, like a, I don't know, like a halter top, wow. I think. Nice I body? Yeah. Big titties? Uh, yeah, like C, wow. C, D. Real what or What color fake? was Real. your hair? Real. Uh, she's a brunette. No okay. shit. Yeah. So you had a blonde and a brunette. A blonde and brunette weekend. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> and you're telling me... <laughs> no she, redhead? So she takes off all her clothes and then she blows you? I... D- d- yeah, and... Uh, yeah. she blow you with the rubber or without it? Without. Wow. And, uh... You sure and she was a girl? <laughs> yes. I, you just, fucked her. Who yeah. cares at this point? And it wasn't in her ass. By, by, <laughs> some of them, some of those trannies can hide their penises. Well, I, I inspected her. You did. Way. You <laughs> took her, yeah. <laughs> I took well, a good how, luck. How would you know for sure, really? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. So, so, and then like she, how many times she bang you? Uh, we just did once. How long did you last on that one? I couldn't have been very long. Uh, I, fried. Well, we did a couple of positions, so. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what positions did you do? It's like. I was on top, and uh, and then actually went to doggy, and <laughs> and she got on top for a second. Wow! And, Look at uh, this fucking guy. <laughs> she got on top, huh? How, and and did she seem satisfied? Uh, yes, Robin. Who cares? Satisfied? Who did gives she, a rat hell? Yeah. Did she rock your world or what? I uh, I yeah yeah uh, they both did. I got my uh, I got my world rocked. <laughs> are you having Are you having feelings for the? I, I know for the whore you're not, but no 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 because I I know the the deal so i know the deal with everyone what's the deal maybe she'll dump the boyfriend no no she no she her life is like on the west coast so (laughs) you need someone on this side of the continent i know nobody from here drives anywhere for you (laughs) no No. they won't even get on a subway (laughs) look at you uh casanova (laughs) yeah you should be your life should be on the west coast apparently they should make a movie about you called (laughs) shampoo Uh, yeah if i live in vegas girls well uh, I, i got recognized a lot in vegas yeah, Vegas were big over there. They loved you. I, well, because well, then at the end, then we then he came back. We had a really beautiful meal. Nice post-coming meal for J.D. <laughs> mm. uh, it's creepy knowing a guy just came I was going to say, yeah, can you eat I would do it. It's creepy knowing everyone knew I just... Well, I mean, you know, that was the funny thing. The walk by. I mean, everybody yeah. knew what was going on. I would have stayed just... in my room the rest of the night. <laughs> there, was a, there, was, there, was, <laughs> there was even a guy backstage at the rest at the uh, Artie show who was at Nova and goes, yeah, me and everyone around, at the tables around us knew what was going on. I was like, oh, geez, thanks. <laughs> Because everybody was like, as I was leaving, everybody was giving me like the thumbs up. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think he's all right. I think I take care of him. What did your neighbors ask him when he got back? Uh, you know, they <laughs> were being very polite. Yeah. They, they would have been nice. They were sitting by me. They didn't really bring it up. It would have been nice if the girl like kind of visited you in your room and then put on that display in front of Nobu. Well, oh, uh, dude, I, I'll take it any way I can get it. So, right. I didn't know what she was going to do that, but that was so much funnier, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, yeah. just for the story. Yeah, be a part a of story. It. So, uh, you know. What about we, you? you? Any more horrors for the weekend? Or that no, was that was it. Well, what happened was, so then now, you know, that started a night where we just stayed up all night and then went to the plane. We finished eating at Nobu, you know, got a little lit there, and then backstage they had a whole big setup uh, for us, sort of like, like a pre party. Mm-hmm. And, um, which was, which was great. Now, uh, did you gamble? I I didn't get any chance to. Wow. Wow. Already. The real cool thing was it ended up being great because John the Stutterer got there. John got us at Nobu. I got a glimpse into his living hell. What do you mean? Uh, I I said, I said, John, do you want something to eat? And he tries (laughs) to answer you on a yes, no question. I'm just going, just no, no, no. You know, he goes, no, no, no. So I said, what do you want to drink? And it took him, what, 10 minutes to uh, say regular uh, Coke? Uh, I, 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 oh, and he has to say regular Coke. He right. wants to say Coke. Right, he has to say regular Coke. <laughs> and um, again, it was just, I, 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 the guys. He could I, write I, it down if he didn't want to be a pain in the ass. I, I guess, but uh, Coke. Yeah. he wouldn't eat anything. He wouldn't drink any alcohol. And he just. He doesn't up, drink alcohol, that guy? What he's, the on about he's on medication. He's on so much oh, stuff. Oh. <laughs> He is on so much stuff. So he. Uh, so what? He sat there. Yeah, it's almost like I hope I die. My one big failure for the weekend was I didn't have enough time. I, I couldn't get I couldn't get him abroad uh, unless what? he somehow got it on a, on his own. Well, you couldn't get him a girl. I couldn't work it. No, I don't know when what he was do you mean getting you couldn't there. Work it? I don't know when he was getting there. I didn't have enough time uh, to work it out. You were busy. But um, yeah, I, I had too. <laughs> but. It worked out to where, you know, you got a free trip out there, you got the room, and what they did was, after my show, uh, the club there, Body English, they were like, look, if you come here and take some pictures and everything, we'll get, they gave me like five grand in chips. Wow. And uh, so I was able to pass that wealth around a little bit. I gave JD like 500, I gave uh, John Stutterer like 500. Wow. And I'm like, you don't have to gamble it, just pocket it if you want, I think, right. you know. Uh, and um, Did those guys gamble? 
Uh, I don't know what happened to John the Stutter. He came by the show. The crowd was amazing. The first thing I said was, I said, I have an announcement. JD has gotten laid. And the place went nuts. That's funny. <laughs> and then at the end of the show, I brought John the Stutter around. It was so fucking, it was like 2,000 Fred Nars is torturing him. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. He tried to say that, and everyone's going, oi, oi. I was like a simultaneous, like the beginning of Crazy Train. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the show was uh, amazing. They, they, were, they were a great crowd. And then we... But an interesting thing happened for my a, a little self esteem booster for me. Nice. Before I leave, remember a couple of months ago we had a Winfred's money chick on. She got naked. She was with a guy who she dated, and they swung out in California. Uh, she brought chicks into the mix, and she, I don't remember, but yeah. she had a really really nice body. And right. I remember like I was fawning over her body. It's one of the chicks I started to get twenty grand to bang you all that shit. <laughs> So uh, at the time, she goes, you flat out asked her on the air, would you have sex with Artie? And she said, he'd have to lose 100 pounds. So Will, as I'm leaving, Will shows me an email from his brother. It says, uh, this chick called, she's going to be in Vegas and tell Artie that I want to come to the show and I'm now single. Oh. oh. So I'm like, wow, yeah, really? Romance. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I get her number, you know. So... Uh, she shows up, but now she's got the, the boyfriend with her, the ex-boyfriend with her. And I'm like, what is that all about? So she, they, they came by my show. She looked unbelievable. She, uh, I don't know if it, the, the, the... I wish I remembered this, too. TV too. guys, could, she, they got a picture of her somewhere in the role of that. I don't even there. know who you're talking about. Um, I'm not going to give her name, but no. um, she, uh, she showed up with this fucking tight, like... You know the chick. You saw the chick in the blue skirt. Yeah, I know who she was. I do. That he's the one that took the picture of me. Of course. Right. Really, really nice body. And uh, she comes backstage and she's with the with the guy. I'm like, you know. So afterwards, we go to the club, the body English. She's sitting next to me and she goes, "Well, I guess I'm not that memorable." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" She goes, "Well, you know, you remember me, and you said I was so hot on the show." I'm like, "Yeah, I remember you." She goes, um, "Would you go out with me?" <laughs> Yeah. And I go, the question is, would you go out with me? She goes, of course I go out with you. I guess I guess the 100 pounds doesn't mean shit. I put on five pounds by now. <laughs> and then she's like, no, no, I never cared about that. I'm like, what about your boyfriend? She goes, no, we broke up. We're broken up. I'm like, well, why is he here? Yeah. She's like, uh, you know, he just wanted to come. You know, we're both fans to the show and everything. So um, uh, I got her number. <laughs> and nothing I, happened. Okay. Uh, nothing happened, but... Um, she oh. said, uh, "She said uh, I could come out to New York like within the next couple of weeks. <laughs> oh. I'll fly her out, man. Uh, she, she, she was. She looked hot, and she, she had she a was fuck, hot. Yeah, yeah. and uh, she's not a whore, which is a, no. A big she, step up. she, um, she was she beautiful, beautiful girl. Well, who is it? Oh, I don't even remember the circumstances. Uh, I, she was a Winfred's yeah. money chick. Wow, I don't remember. I don't know if the the, 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 the TV guys have any recollection of what I'm talking about." We'll find it. Yeah. About two Winfred's monies ago, or maybe one. Um, and then we all went. I was able to pass out some gambling money. That club body English is so fucking great. The broad, uh, you know, tables, just Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, the <laughs> pool scene there, the hard rock. It's just, I mean, I don't know how people live there. My friend lives out there. Yeah. There's no form of reality. It's just heaven on earth. <laughs> it's really like you know some people describe a scene and you go it can't be that good it's it's that good really yes. the the club there the and then the pool well you've seen the pool yeah right? no it's a it's a it's a, it's a man's thing. paradise yeah it really is it's a man's paradise yeah, it's, and, really, uh, it's like everything it's every cool party you'd ever want to go exactly to. combined right. uh, and and the the chick the guy ratio is nice and at the end of the show i brought jd out too so they gave jd like a standing ovation <laughs> So you had a big weekend, huh? And Did we you guys all fly home together? We yeah. stayed up all night. Wow. And went right to the cab, which is part of the court. you stayed up all night, no gambling? You were in the club all that time? Mostly, yeah. 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 And, uh, fi uh, you know, it was a real nice money weekend. It was a good sold-out crowd. You never ran into your hooker again? No. I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> thank God. And, what a weekend, man. And we got on a plane and we flew home together. Look we at you. Uh, Artie, you made a lot of people's dreams come true. I said to these guys, I said, if this plane is delayed on our way, I said, I'm just going to a realtor and getting a condo in Vegas. <laughs> I'm not, I can't deal with it again. I, that the flying right now is... In, it's it's just, insane. That's my next goal is to get enough screen to where I could at least lease a jet or something. Well, maybe you get some of these uh, big hotels when they hire you to, 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 to fly, fly out. Yeah, you got to, right, if they own a jet, it might be worth it. Right. I got to start talking about that because these weekends where leave the show, cross country, do a gig, Ooh. come back, is nuts. That's, That's a lot. You know, but at least JD got out there for Thursday, though, you know. We, well, we were from, what, too. from what you guys are saying, Artie got laid. It was a great weekend. Yeah. No, was. JD got laid, <laughs> yeah. and John Twice. the Stutterer got a regular Coke. Stud. Yes. Get over here. Yes.
So, J.D., quite the weekend. Yeah. Uncle Artie did you right, huh? Did, did me more than right. Did me fantastic. If you could name a favorite position or part of the weekend, what was it? A favorite position. Oh, gee, a favorite part. Jesus. I don't know. It was just a blast the whole weekend. I was drinking the whole time and... Uh, and, you know, I was around hot chicks, even if they weren't talking to me. I was looking at them and whatever. So, so good. basically everything that Uncle Artie set out to do and promised you came true this weekend. Yes. Yes. Everything, everything was a success. Now, when you have a chick-filled weekend like this, do you try to parlay this into, like, you know, increasing your confidence and um, your approach to women in general? No. No. It gives you no type of uh, no. internal boost? No. It's, uh, as soon as I got off the, the train outside of my apartment, it was like reality all over again and yeah uncle Artie's wild weekend in vegas <laughs> that's right buddy your boy jd did all right yeah he didn't even need me he got laid before i got there which was amazing Artie, you mentioned that whores should have proper etiquette what can you please give a message to whores of america yeah when you get the money leave no no we did we sort of had when, when the guy tells you to leave leave he's the boss he's paying you right you know it's like I'm, I'm clearly on the higher rail here than Lisa G. As far as the staff goes, and if I tell her to leave, she's got to do it. <laughs> you heard it. Thanks. Give me a